hey, family you have to forgive me honestly how i'm doing videos today let's just say the place that i booked in now is for me is but anyway this is not home this is not my house yeah um you know casualties they call them others but me i call them hiccups family in that life of darkness there are more casualties sometimes and people always think it's easy no hey yeah okay let me tell you a chapter of this lady you know sometimes when you work you know there are certain doctors maybe doctors can relate or other people in their businesses you know those people that master their work that whatever and there are times where someone comes in and you just do you know those cases this one's just about, about having take care the form finished you necessarily using a template in your computer of something not going through maybe seriousness of a contract that you're doing you know just using a template your office template that is there sometimes it's wrong what happened was a lady came right i gave a yeah uh a love potion you know and it will you know it hits them serious because my my target was always hit first deliver go to the heart the stomach should even be the last thing and sit on his bladder she it goes with rules hit the liver first go to the heart go through the stomach and sit in his bladder so basically <laughs> this is how it went it, 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 it goes and it sits how it goes my love potion you know and not love potions that Tend you seriously into a prisoner. There's one that turns you into a prisoner, and there's one that just makes you a remote control. But now the problem, the lady didn't detail much about the the man's family, and I also didn't have that time to do that. You want this? Okay, good. I give you go. That was not good. The man's family. <laughs> Yeah, they don't play now. They also go. They also do things. <laughs> yeah, family. They found out. They took Umfana somewhere. One thing that I can assure you, what I put, I must take out. Me. What my hand put inside you, it's my hand. No matter which nyanga you will meet, and it will... You will honestly get the, the, the truth because ha ah, there's someone who did this. One, I will, I will always hide my face. I will always hide myself. You will not find me. But you may, you know, because the different, you know, different categories of uh, Sangomas. Honestly, they will find me <laughs> that I did it, but they won't see me. You see, yeah, this, they will see that there's a Sangoma that did this or they will see the lady. Ah, they caught her. They caught her. And when she got caught, they worked on the, the man. They worked on the man and he came. You know, remember, they cannot take it out. I hid it in the bladder of that man. Um, you know, when he urinate, wherever he urinate, it's her. <laughs> you get it? You just don't go around and urinate. It's in my you, my thing. It's in his bladder. It started with the liver. You know? It went to the heart. It travels. Yeah. I'll not tell you the secret of that now. But later on, maybe I will. And I, I, so this, this guy came back, you know, a bit of senses, you know. Hey, my family told me this, 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 you know, whatever that Nyanga gave him, gave him the fierce uh, boldness 
of fighting to get back his sanity you know the lady said ah, he, i come him. what are you talking about i bo two days later this time around it like i think maybe he spoke to his brother or something on the phone ah fire it started they were also busy there <laughs> she ended up confessing is it okay yeah because he was fire hi boo i see her. she's coming <laughs> you see what he was doing in his house he can't do in my house you see what he was doing there he can't do it i know he can't do it uh but he he, he wants to get back his sanity that's all he wants so we go inside the ndumba you see so as as we are going I tell them to go before me because I can already, because I did not, number one, I did not go to this man's dreams. Uh, the ones that were coming with their women, I had visited them. You see, I, I had visited them. I gave out numbers for them to make calls. This one, I know, I did not assign this man's presence. I did not summon this person. So I made them walk before me. As they walk before me, I can see behind him, it's got that. I say, hey, if that thing doesn't enter into my shrine, take it out. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> I say, that, you don't enter the outside. Now I'm changing, you see, because it's I'm no longer that welcoming. It's like you are bringing nonsense to a place where nonsense is not accepted. Take out that thing. Get inside. Let us talk. What do you want here? You, <sighs> a beast comes out. Because it was very easy for me to turn, you know. Become a beast to me. I, oh, oh, oh. It was what I knew. Uh, no. Uh, sorry, Coco. You know, one of the other things I love about a certain tribe, I will not say it here, uh, respect of the things of the spirits. Uh, sorry, uh, he brought it. I kept it even outside family. Me, I had my own shrine. So, put it down there. We enter. When we enter, uh, he really apologized even inside you see because inside inside outside where you are i'm the boss you may be the boss wherever you're coming from see here my territory we don't mess with each other so when he enters again he apologized which i applauded him for you know and inside no matter how bad i was doing bad to good i was never a person that takes one side you see so the 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 man is explaining this is what happened and this is what she said i am only here to ask please release me from whatever you give me <laughs> this is confrontation i cannot deny truth has already been spoken one thing I say, you know, another thing that that you need to know about the Tsaungoma family, they always get out of it. You know, <laughs> I just uh, look at him. I'm not accepting what he's saying. I'm giving him orders of what I'm thinking. Uh, do you know me? No, I don't know you. Did I come to your house? No. Uh, who came between me and you? Who came to whose house? You, you did. You came to me. Yes. He said yes. Just him saying yes. <laughs> I said, okay, since you came to me, I want to show that's exactly how your wife came to my house. Did not go to her. She came to me and she wanted something that I have. I cannot refuse. If someone says, I want to buy orange and I have orange, I give orange. So I gave her orange, you see. And she paid for that orange. And for me to take back that orange that she has already used again is man now she is asking 
what is it that needs to be done i said please wait whatever is going to happen from now on is none of my business me i can give you the remedy to remedy the situation because i'm the one that planted what is inside you for sure <laughs> I don't care. I will pay. Just help me. Release me. As for this one, we'll sort it in the house. I said, no problem. Okay. Eh? Before I open my mouth to even discuss more with you with regards to remedy, put it down. Put it down. He put down. I took it. Where I took the very same thing to give it, I put it there. I explained the situation. I asked to release a remedy. When I tell him a remedy, <laughs> I said, my dear, you didn't even need, need to waste the time and your energy and running around and doing all that that they did to you to get the remedy. This is your remedy, family. <laughs> Go to your mother early in the morning. Tell your own best mother to urinate and drink a urine. And if you don't have your own mother, go to your own father early in the morning. Ask him to urinate and give you that urine and drink. And if you don't have these two, if you have a, a first first girl of your mother. Tell that one to urinate. Drink that urine. You are done with my help inside you. Yay! <laughs> oh, God. That man. I, I, that man. Yo, what? That one was so strange to him. And what was strange more was the fact that uh, his mother and father, they had parted ways. And his, his mother was married to another man. So I think that was disturbing him. You know, but he could not. I said, hey, sh that's your only remedy. Go home, ask your mother. You can actually spend time with your mother overnight. And maybe ask her, you know, you know, not to be with the man or whatever. I don't, it's none of my business. I gave you the remedy. The remedy is go drink your mother's urine. You would have finished whatever is inside you. He's blaming this. You see the things that you're causing me to go through? <laughs> hey, cause it just, I forgive us, Lord. So, family, these things are not the child's play. They're very difficult. You know, the things of the devil, they are hard to do. They are hard to, to maintain. It's not easy. It's even me, casual. I my hiccups. Mission failed. You know, I did it to full capacity, but now confrontation. <laughs> But you know, hey, you see in other stories that you remember that, hey, I did that. But if you remember that one, you know, that something could have happened there. You know, he had that. Something could have happened. You know, even if it was not me, but between them, you know, what happened after that? Hey, hey, family. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't want to know. I didn't, I didn't want to know for you to confess me and bring them. Hey, you are not to be trusted. You can't do, I can't do me as a lawyer now. I can't be rich with you because ah, you can't do that. All oh, this serious, you know, trust is serious. You, you need to keep it for me. But she didn't keep it. She took me out. Something could have happened. Even there, it could have happened. But how he handled it, how I handled it as well. And in as much as there was a bit of anger with what he was carrying, which I was easily 
able to make him, uh, you know, remove and leave outside so that things could be resolved easily. It was not as easy as that. And things of the devil, <laughs> family, there's always payment. So I, let me leave you at that. Um, I keep thinking of these stories that I, I did. I was part of, I, I'm literally that book of it. And I, I know family, I, I, can I choose that life again? Ah, no, sorry. Someone will say, hi, there are many beautiful memories of things, but hey, but that life, I, sorry, Masala, no, I know. It's a life without peace. It's, it's, it's a life without peace. I'm sorry. Yeah, your people can go and consult and do what and do what and come have your happiness. Joy. But them, peace. Ah. Sorry, I, I refuse. Anyway, we continue telling our story out of it. Somebody's going to learn. And it gets more complicated with regards to hold on. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed. We will continue sharing.